All right. Um, we're first up. Um, he's on the play. All right. Chose to play first. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep this. We're He mulliganed already. We're on the draw. So. Hopefully we draw some action here, or at least some lands to cast. The three five drops we have in the deck. So if you're keeping track at home, three of the six cards that cast cost five or more to cast are in our opening hand. Um, yeah, that's the way I've been running. But as long as we can get there in a reasonable time frame, it's not so bad. All right. Opponent thought for a while and kept his hand there. Uh, go ahead and run out the swamp in case we have to draw for Reapus Cure next turn. And if we don't draw that, we should play the mountain in case we draw the Cerebrus. So we're up to five land, so we'll at least be able to do stuff in this game. Unless he kills us in turn four. Seems unlikely, but stranger things have happened. And he's missing his land drop here. So this is a spot I'd love to just be able to punish him, but oh, I'm a speaker. Okay. So I'll probably be able to hit his next land drop. See what he does here in terms of the scry. He thinks, he thinks, card on the bottom, card on top. Alrighty. And we got to do something, yay. So, like Dragon Mantle next off the top would not be bad. Unicorns. Attack in here. Maybe he blocks, maybe he doesn't. If he, yeah, I'm not willing to throw the Buna Erebos away to kill the Omen Speaker. I'd do it to kill the Opaline Unicorn, but the Omen Speaker is not that big a deal. Please don't play Nessie and Asp. <laughs> Please don't play Nessie and Asp. Although Nessie and Asp I can actually kill with uh, after the two-headed Cerberus hits it and then lash the whip. And we'll be up to five lands, so no have options. Don't play something with five or more toughness. Four or less toughness, fine. Also playing nothing, also fine. of horizons. This we can deal with. So we'd have to double block. That's fine. I think we just cast that and get in. Could attack with the flesh mad seed, but he can he, he he can just not do anything about it. Like in general, I would be happy if he wanted to trade uh, Opal Unicorn or Agent of Horizons with it. But um, in general, you don't want to give your opponent any options if possible. You want to restrict your opponent's options as much as possible, and that's how you win the game. Maybe if I'd, uh, yeah, maybe I should have hit the, hit the boon of Erebos last time, but 
because then I would have been able to attack with the flesh man seed as well and the Cerebrus yeah eh, we're not gonna block or maybe maybe we should just go ahead and bait, bait out the combat trick here with the flesh man steve but no i think we want to keep that since we're on the beat down and he's going to make it unblockable anyway which is perfectly fine way to use use your uh, sixth turn perfectly fine way another swamp Go ahead and play that first, and now I'm going to get it. Go ahead and get in with everybody, and uh, I'll use the boom to kill the omen speaker if I can. So, um, yeah, that's fine. So we got in, or we're getting in for six. And then we've got Lash the Whip available. I mean, looks like our opponent just had a kind of ugly, ugly little turn here, and we're taking advantage. Got sip of the, uh, Lash the Whip, and we can sip the Hemlock. Uh, it's possible if he plays. I don't know. Whatever. If he taps out and, and or taps most of it anyway, and plays something with four toughness, we could lash the whip that and then sit the hemlock that, and really get in there. Could potentially be fatal if he has. I'm trying to think of a five five mana creature that uh, has toughness four or less. Um, in blue or green, it's a little tough. The green ones tend to have pretty big butts. That Fairy's Band Centaur would be a pain right now. Nimbus Nyad. Sure. He's attacking with that, really? Okay. So let me see, I can lash the whip that, and then sip of hemlock this, and he's just dead, right? Take two, four, eight, ten. Sure. Seems like a plan. Want to get rid of his ability to do stuff with mana on my turn. Possible I should have just done that on uh, Voyages End. Okay, and he's got haste. He'll be back. Yep. Oh, that's right. I can't uh, do the sip of hemlock because that's going to tap down him. Okay. Attack. Sorry, did he leave a card on top or? Yeah, he put the card on top. So he likes whatever his next draw is. It's unfortunate. Boy, I hope he can't do 12 damage to me next turn. Five. There's no double strike. Like Centaur Battlemaster. This is acceptable, sir. I guess we just do sip a hemlock, right? That just guarantees the win. I could do some other cute stuff, but why?
All right, so Centaur Battlemaster, Ancient Horizons, I miss Nyad, Omen Speaker, Voyages, and the Blind Unicorn. So just blue green, not the best card, not horrible cards. So anything we want to do about that? Uh, ordeal still seems fine. Doesn't look like he's got that many ways to block it. He didn't show us. Uh, whatever. Uh, cutthroat maneuver doesn't seem that useful. Guardians of Meltis, not necessary. Opine Unicorn, meh. Uh, Spark Jolt saw no targets. All right, let's just run it back. See what we got here. Yeah, this is not going to be keepable hands. It just saying just does absolutely nothing. So we will follow him with the mulligan. This hand's better, but I still think it's a mulligan, especially he's still mulliganing too. Yeah. I'll keep these five and really hope to draw land. Like, if we draw a land, we're okay. Draw a land, we're okay. If we never draw a land, it's just dead. Like, you could make it a, a case. See, missing land drops? All right, sweet. We are online. All right, he missed one land drop, and now game could begin. If it doesn't begin, that's also fine. Might as well run out the land. Oh, saves me the hassle. All right, so if he misses another land drop here, we could be able to cut the uh, shut the door on him pretty well. New voyages in that. So primarily, you wanted to scry, I guess. And he's still searching. And miss more land drops. Good, good, good. Double mulligan to five makes for some ugly games, but I don't mind winning ugly. Wave Crash Triton, okay. Yeah, I think I just attack, obviously, obviously I attack in, and I think I'm gonna cure that, because that kind of puts an end to all my shenanigans. He's up to four lands, but he's missing the forest, which I think is pretty crucial. Send in the Minotaurs. So. It's kind of an ugly game, but it's okay to win ugly. Still searching. Actually, let me play the land first in case he has, has stymied hopes, which I think he would have used last turn anyway, but just in case. Alright, well, he might have a game, but like. Uh, uh, Fairy's Bed Elder would uh, get me or slow me down quite a bit. Um, yeah, 
I think he's just too far behind at this point. I'm just kind of got the color screwed. And uh, I mean, this is not a bad. Once we uh, actually hit the hit the second land, uh, it was not the worst mulligan to five. And I hate mulliganing to five. I hate mulliganing to five. But all right, so I managed to break the losing streak. Hooray! And we'll see what this mediocre deck can do in the next round.